Match 26 in three, two, one, go. Team 25, 51, moving quickly over to the Blue Alliance cargo ship. Hatch panel successfully placed. Red Alliance had one put onto their far side rocket. That'll be courtesy of Team 5499, the community team out of Berkeley. Griffin Robotics, their robot giraffe for the Blue Alliance. Trying to place another hatch panel onto the cargo ship for Blue. Meanwhile, 5490 already starting on the cargo for the Red Alliance. 21 to 19, Blues lead so far. Little over a minute and a half remaining in this qualification match. Red Alliance making quick work of their cargo ship. They already filled up the far side. Looks like they're trying to do the same. Meanwhile, the Blue Alliance is chipping away at the score. Team 2551 Penguin Empire placing yet another cargo into the ship for the Blue Alliance. That'll help them maintain that 10 point lead. 60 seconds left to go here in this match. Team 68 14. Moving around the field, they are now making their way across the halfway line, and it looks like they might be playing a little bit of defense. It remains to be seen. 25-51, doing their part for the Blue Alliance on their cargo ship as we now head into the end game period, 40 to 30. We'll see if the Red Alliance can catch back up, and it looks like they just might take the lead. Team 68-14, hatch panel in possession. They flip their mechanism over and back again as a show of strength, it seems. Before placing it onto the rocket, Team 54-99 with a violent yet successful jump onto the level two platform for red as we hit the end of qualification match number 26. Off from Planet Primus first will be the Red Alliance narrowly taking the victory 47 to 46. Two rank points going to the Red Alliance for that win. Very close match. Both teams doing well in the sandstorm.